G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Icarus with Capac and Birdo, and some good news on the horizon. What? There news. are aliens coming! What? That's not good news, that's terrible news. It's good news! I don't want to get abducted. Deadly, deadly aliens are coming to Icarus. They've, they've announced on August 24th. Uh, all right, what's the crafting recipe for a tinfoil hat? Probably very expensive. I don't want them probing my brain. All right, don't forget about the poison frogs. Good point. I forgot to change my stream title. I do that every single week. Wait, aliens cool, and poison frogs? Yeah. Wow, these plants grew quick. Uh, yeah. You're gonna have to make a lot more, um, plant pot plots things. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, ah, I can't type. Sure, whatever, that'll be good enough. It'll work. There we go. Fix it, it did it. Oh, yeah. Choose the prediction outcome. No, not out. No, delete. Prediction. Delete. Start prediction. Start prediction. Who will die next? Capac. Incorrect. Start squad stream. Capac. And my roof. Done. Alright, I've done all the things. I forgot all the things. I will maybe one day remember some of the things. Hmm. Might need more sulfur. Oh. 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 Nope. Doesn't like me. I need to place the wall the other way. Oh no, Mike! What have you done? <laughs> you gotta do this one. I still haven't done the other one. I should really get onto that. Sorry, test unit! Yeah, you better get on it, because it'll be real embarrassing for you if I get one out before you get yours out. <laughs> I like how much you acknowledge that that is actually a thing that would be embarrassing <laughs> because of how bad you are normally at these things. Uh, okay, we, we made a path that goes all the way down here, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> thank you, Shadow, for the raid, but thank you, Red Bearded Engineer, for nine months. And a comment that almost made me spit out my smoothie. Oh, dear. We made a Twitch baby. Oof. <laughs> ah. Disturbing and hilarious at the same time. That's how I like it. Uh, oh, hello, Jaguar. Take knife to your face. Yes. Oh, more of them. Ow. Yeah, I saw a few out there. Ow. He sounds like you're having fun. Ooh. Yep. Loads of it. I think I was just adding some excitement to the uh, to the prediction there. <laughs> also, Kapak, do you want to accept the squad, squad string? Oh, yeah, that's a thing you can do. 
Yeah, we haven't done it in about two months. Shazam. It is done. Uh, the prediction's already over. Like, the points are already in. Oh, Dragnon, thanks for give subs. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dragnon, for supporting both of us so much. Yes, indeed. It is... We are incredibly, incredibly grateful. I was even coming out here when I was full of junk too. Um, Shadow, I reckon Twitch would have enabled it for affiliates had Mixer remained a thing. Because Mixer had it, had squad, it's equivalent to squad stream available for everyone right from the, like right from the outset. There was no gating to it at all. It's kind of baffling that they don't just give it to everybody. It is. I don't know what their rationale is for it. Also, I do wonder if one day I'm going to get in trouble for badmouthing Twitch on their own platform. Um. <laughs> oh well, that's what YouTube's for. Oh. I can only guess it must be because some aspect of it they think would give people that aren't partner an advantage somehow in doing that. You mean by being able to stream with their friends who aren't partner? No, no, like they like think it would give the... Uh, the non-partnered people some kind of boost that they don't think is acceptable. But they make more off the non-partnered people. The partner contract makes them, like, they, they give a slightly higher payout rate too. Look, it doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> oh, right, you're saying it's nonsense, but they, do, they think it, it does. I'm saying the most likely reason is some bureaucratic mumbo jumbo. Right. Almost knocked the tree on me. And I think everyone can agree that most things in this world can boil down to bureaucratic <laughs> mumbo jumbo. Yeah. Do you know what sucks? I think my suburb has gotten the fiber to the home upgrade, except for my street. Ah. So, I can't get faster internet. Uh, how many lassoes so far? We've had one. And now two, because Capac's got to sort out the one on his channel. But Capac, if we don't want to do lots of these, we should probably come up with some reasons for people to spend their points. I got lots of reasons. I got sound alerts. I got um, <laughs> emojis. Yeah, I was more thinking along the lines of um, trying to maybe work together on getting that the stuff needed to make the twitch integration for space engineers have more stuff to it uh what nev made a mod that's a twitch integration for space engineers yeah yeah and i've i was working on some drop pods so people could like drop nice stuff or nasty stuff or trick stuff or whatever i feel like that's a decent use of channel points Ow. Oh, who are you shooting? I just got some buckshot. Wolves. So many wolves. Yeah, test unit, you were the first. The very first. Ah, uh, but back on the topic of Icarus ah. getting an update. Invincible wolf. 
there's a new they've they've said the release of the DLC bit, which is also going to come with a whole bunch of extra stuff for the base game. Um, is 24th of August, so we'll have a new map. With all sorts of alien horrors in it. Well, quit worrying about that and finish your prediction and get over here and pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's been weeks since we had one of these end. Yeah, well, I had to get the invincible wolf that bullets just go through that ate my face. Well, actually, he didn't eat my face. I Where blew myself you? up trying to kill him. Oh, you're over there. I'm within spitting distance of the base. Yeah, I'm also heavily encumbered, so I'll be there as soon as I can. Of course you are. Choose prediction outcome. Wow, 66% on Capac too. Okay. Prediction started again. I did, I did something again. useful and I get ambushed by a pack of wolves. <laughs> Sounds about right. I am legit on my way. Just, it, it's a process. Man, it really does feel like entering a castle now. From that western entrance. Makes me very happy. Myself some soup, some vegetables, uh, some crispy bacon. Job Hurry up! I'm gonna get eaten by this Komodo dragon. <laughs> oh, I won't bring Birdo. Getting dark out here. Hey, I needed to eat first, otherwise I was gonna be slower to get there. Just like, just like my dad did on the day my uh, twin sisters were born. Um, yes, yes, honey, I'll get you to the hospital. I just got to finish my wheat bix Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> As you can tell, 40 years later, still copying it for that. I ran past you, didn't I? Uh... Where yes. are you? I'm here amongst all the skeletons. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Ah! You made the Komodo dragon angry. It's because I stole its meat. You. Oh yeah, Stragnon, it went over so well that literally it is a thing that gets brought up about him with some frequency. <laughs> Even this many years later. Uh, yes. Cord, just like Peter Griffin ordering drive through on the way to the hospital. So, Kabak. Looking at the large edifice of stone that we've built, you got any thoughts on how we could decorate it to make it a bit more interesting and a little less bland? Um, One of the suggestions that I got was to put palisades along the bottom, but just on the cliffside, right up against the wall, but just put it, put palisades there. I'm not sure how easy it would be to actually get them to place. Um, but I was wondering whether you had any ideas, any thoughts. Mm, I don't know. I have to have a look at it in the daytime. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know it's a castle, so, you know, you expect it to be largely an edifice of stone, but 
since it's a castle in a fantasy game on a made up moon orbiting a made up planet, uh, we can do style. I had been thinking along the lines of trophy heads with going out and getting some more mammoths and we stick mammoths all along the walls. Uh, I'm not sure how Kappa could feel about that though. Kappa? How do you feel about trophy head mammoth? Mammoth trophy heads. I feel like we've got enough of those already. Exactly. See, I said Kappa wouldn't like it. Do we have a bunch of... We do. Oh, we gotta level up. Got mammoths and polar funny. bears on the outside of your house and looks kind of funny. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. You, Are you just going to be planting these um, lavender reeds everywhere? Are they the most decorative, some... I feel like? Well, I thought like mixing them up with some bushes and things like that might have been nice rather than make it so uniform. But you do you. Uh. Okay. Did I put... What did I do down here? Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to make all of the things. Yeah, let's make the other 50. Oxygen. Ooh. Can I do something with these beams on the outside? On the walls to add some interest. Hmm. What? Something with bees? Beams. Love it when that lines up like that. Yeah. Good enough. Aren't those yellow bush flower things? Oh, yeah, Kabak. Aren't there some yellow ones so you can mix up the purple and the yellow? Uh, you've got them over in... on the... You've got them on the balcony farm. I guess so. Jeez. No, you were so anti-yellow. It's a color of cowardice. Also, the color of friendship. What? So what? when? Uh, yellow flowers. Friendship. It's not true. Yeah, it is. Which, which one even is it? Is it gorse? Maybe. Looks like it could be gorse. From what I remember gorse looking like. Yeah, that's it. Woody word. Gorse. Uh, what? You heard me. Mm, I heard you. I understand you. Oh, how am I going to get this to work? I'm going to fix this bit. I don't like this bit like it is. I'm going to get that to... Hmm, maybe I'll try up and back. I mean, I probably should put some... Oh, I should cable up and put some lights in the along the outside here. Uh, we'll do that in a bit. Let me just fix this bit up first. Yellow can be associated with freshness and new beginnings, yes. Which, um, we will be having a new beginning when the DLC drops. We will? Yeah, it's on a, it's a whole new map. 
Do we have to? Hmm. Looks like I'm not going to be able to do that. I need more wood. Turn off the thing? I think I did. Yeah. I turned off the color correction. Um Yeah, okay. So let's start maybe with this wall. <laughs> and what we could do to it. We could branch out like I did in this section to break it up a bit. Come back to ignoring me. I'm plotting. I know you're plotting. You're always plotting. Scheming. Sleeping. Yeah, but can you see this um, build thing? Right. Right near you. Oh. No. You can't see me placing it? Nope. I think you need to turn that option on. What? Uh, option? Fine, I'll just do it myself. I think that's about right anyway. It's close enough. Close enough. Um, the new map is the same planet as I understood. I didn't think it was a new planet or anything. Oh, I can't do that. I was hoping to put, like, crosses of wood on the outside here. Hmm. Yeah, what can we do? Because that's our workshop up there. What's, what's behind this wall? Oh, that's the basement. I mean, do we want a door here to the basement? Um, do we? Like here? Like, uh, I don't know, do we? One thought I did just have, though, was, um, what if we make I just gotta get rid of that a little covered roofy thing here. Put a little stone roof along there. Yeah. Would that be enough or is that too much? Or are we doing too much and we should just plant some plants and call it a day? I think it's too much. I think if we had like some sort of fabric roofing that didn't just instant destroy, I might like it. But this isn't quite working. I was talking last time about having a bridge from the, the main building across to the parapet over here. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, okay, let me work on that. Uh, I might need to pull up some of your plants when I get to it. Yeah, that's fine. Are you talking just like this height bridge or do you want it taller than that? Uh, just at the height of the, the parapet. That's going to be interesting, because I think it's not really going to work right. But it might work going across to your garden. Go back. 
can have a bridge across here. Can you see where I am? Nope. <sighs> was mining sulfur. So these, this could be the oh, bridge. Oh yeah. Because it sets it high enough above the bottom while still getting us another route to somewhere that we, I guess, could use. approach this. Hmm. Um, don't look too hard inside. Poles come through the wall. Oh no, I went So I now need stone floors, then I need some roof, and I need some stairs, which are roofs, so that's fine. And I think our power's gone out, Kavak. Could be, could be. It has indeed. All right. Are the, um, is the thing, the, the, can I take Birdo? Uh, as long as you don't bring him back dead. Sure. If he dies, I won't bring him back. Rude. It is your turn. I did it last time and I ended up getting my bird <laughs> eaten in a cave. Yep. You did indeed. Jaguars. Wasn't it a bear? It was both. And uh, the combo is pretty deadly. Jaggy bears. Oh, stuck on a rock. Come on, Birdo, get down this hill. Flap those wings! If you believe, you can fly! That is not how flying works. Sure it is. It's what Disney taught me. I mean, the way to fly is to throw yourself at the ground and miss. I believe that's how to orbit. It's a kind of flying. Is it? Yeah. I suppose it depends on the altitude, doesn't it? Uh, okay, <laughs> go up to the other pole. Walking is just controlled falling. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Running even more so. Okay. How can I have a crop plot that's got one, two, three, four, five... At least ten visible carrots in it and pull out a crop of four carrots. Doesn't make sense. Maybe three of them are bad? Six of them are bad? There's no such thing as a bad carrot. I don't know. When they're floppy, they're pretty bad. Ew. Uh, I just heard a bear. Just 
is concerning because I really don't want to get Birdo killed. Yeah, you shouldn't. Alright, since we know that the sponges don't save anymore, I'm just throwing them all out. Oh, I think the power just came back on. Some of it would have, yes. Is the bird bait now? I hope not. I don't want Birdo to become bear bait. Oh, I don't want the sponges. Throw away the sponges. Throw away the fur. Oh, rubbish. Ah. How are you the one dying? No, uh, it's not me dying. It's the oven. I see. I accidentally clicked the wrong button and punched the stove top. Huh. Punchy, punchy. I don't know if those are really... It sounds like my stomach. But I guess I can uh, make It sounded more. like my stomach just before I got... My in between stream snack. Oh, I hate maintenance tasks. <laughs> Alright. All of the things are back on. You should have light. I better take me home. Say, poisonous dwarf. Do we have the new bone shields? Um, no, nope. but I'm. I am wondering whether Capac's going to fit one instead of his backpack. Already got one. Oh, you do? Yep. Have you? Are you wearing it instead of your backpack? Uh, I've got it in my my G item thing. Oh, is I thought it was meant to go in your backpack slot. The way it was worded was um ambiguous. Uh, maybe it can do either. Oh, well, I guess I can test it out by shooting you in the back. No shooting backs. Stab you. What's wrong with you? Poke? Rod? Oh, is that why you were going after bones before? And got you killed? Oh, I was going after sulfur to make more farms. Oh, right. around all the decaying vegetable <laughs> matter that is a um a surprisingly on point emote there rainforester <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> choking on my water <coughs> birdo is returno and he is alive -o. Left it right where you'd parked him. Alright. Um, do you want me to still put all your rubbish leaves in the composter? Sure. I brought home another like 600 of them.
Thank you for flying Birdo Airlines. We hope you enjoyed your flight. If you need any help with insurance for your travel in whatever destination we've dropped you at, please don't hesitate to go to someone else. Remember to remove all your luggage from the overhead compartment. Uh, I've got some crop plots. I had to pick them up. Uh, I don't know, put them in the crafting bench or something. Is that where you make them? Yep. Uh, also some reed flowers. They're also in the crafting bench. Okay. Ah, oh, so nice having water to the masonry bench. It's speeding up things a bit, I presume. Oh, it makes a big difference. Oh, dang it, missed the mosquito. I'm not happy about mosquitoes being back. I'm happy about it being warmer, but I'm not happy about the mozzies. Bloodsuckers. Uh, it is not summer. It is the middle of winter. And yes, mosquitoes still. At least, I should say, it is not summer here. Thankfully, this step is just small enough that we can just walk up it, so I don't need to figure out how I'm going to get stairs in there. Also, I'm trying to figure out how to cope with my existential dread of the fact that there are mosquitoes in the middle of winter. It's nice to be wanted. Hmm. I think leeches and mosquitoes are where that kind of ends. Well, that fungus that takes over your brain. Mycelium. Was it? What? Cordyceps. Cordyceps, that's it. Mycelium. What am I thinking about? Oh well. That's just a general fungus thing. Yeah. The thing they have. Alright, what do you think of the bridge? Uh, That's bridge, something. You say? What the, what the? I need to. I need to get the wall bits for it. dead animal heads. <laughs> oh no, not enough stone. No, I'm making the rails. It, the, 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 I just hadn't yet. Ooh, do I want to... Hmm, maybe I want to go... these on this instead. Do you reckon stone railings or these reinforced railings? For the bridge. Hmm. Yeah, the reinforced ones. You reckon? 
sort of matches to the to the garden up here. Yeah. Yeah, it is annoying that we can't make these things line up properly, but it's the best we got. <laughs> no, Wasted will not be joining Icarus. Ever. No. Uh, sure. 15 up. Go for it. At least it's not joining Icarus the way Splitsy's not joining No Man's Sky. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. So on the topic of Wasted, we are currently trying to work out a time that we could do some Space Engineers together. Yeah. Which, depending on the day, may even be an invite extended to Capac. Hmm. Sounds like you two are plotting against me. Ah, uh, no. In fact, the situation would be more akin to um, us being cooperative players against chat. So we're doomed. <laughs> in a way, in a manner of speaking, yes. sure what the best thing is to do in these gap bits, but I'm gonna leave it like that. Would bringing Saboteur Capac be an advantage or a disadvantage? Um, yes. I mean, he is a decoy at times too, so sometimes he's helpful. Oh, not the Giga Saw Blades. <laughs> oh, actually, there's some there's some new content coming in later. I'm gonna have to play play it again soon. Ah, oh, but yeah, come back. If if the day we work out is a day that would suit, it'd be sort of a one-off stream for a week. Would you be happy to take a break from something that you were normally streaming at that time? Uh, well, I mean, um, I don't really have anything ongoing at the moment because okay. System Shock's going to finish tomorrow. Yep. And I think I'm pretty much done with Mars First Logistics until it gets some more updates. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good timing then. Yeah, I think uh, it'll probably end up being an extra stream. Rather than uh, in one of my normal slots, because I think Wasted's usually a bit occupied on those days, so... Uh, I think I'll have to put those down. Maybe just accept that these inner corners don't have rails, because it looks weird. So the one-off thing means it's not well yeah it won't be survival if the idea works it's something we could conceivably do in survival later but the first trial of this concept will not be survival nice we have a bridge i should make more planters for you maybe some planters against here <gasps> oh 
you weren't able to place plants on the half floors, were you? Huh? The half slab floors you weren't able to plant to plant plants on, could you? I don't remember. That's... I just had a thought of making little balconies with plants on them outside the windows. Yeah, well, build one and we'll see. But we can't do it. Uh, yes, the game cares very much about stru structural integrity. Oh, hold on. Do you have a, um, do you have a, a stone foundation and a floor? Uh, no, not right now. I can get one for you, though. Where do you want it? Uh, in this corner. Where? Here. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> what the? <laughs> like that? Yep. What are you going to do there? Some more of these. Okay, cool. Except I've run out. I need more sulfur. Right, time to go on another death expedition. Death expedition. Ah, the jaguar and the crocodile, nature's friends. Instantly hating this. Yeah, I was thinking about the alternate foundation piece as an option. Uh, it's just a full cube out, which is what's making me hesitate. Am I going to help mine sulfur? Why would I help mine sulfur? Because you want more farm plots. Oh. For more decorations. Wait. Jeez. Way to kill my fun with logic. Yep. Nothing like raining on a splitsy parade. You love it. It's true. I'll just leave it like this. I made a little roof for over the uh, entryway into the basement. <laughs> With salt in farm plots. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any Forever Skies planned because there wasn't any more content to play. sad when we start our new area as well as happy. It's going to be weird. Mixed emotions. We've spent a long time building this. Well, I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere. It'll still exist. I know. You know what it's like when we move on to a new map of something. Yeah. I have to remake all the basic stuff again. You really hate that that much? 
Oh, it's the worst ride at the start when you're like, oh man, I'm walking so slow and I can't carry anything and I miss all the stuff that I had. So this is a bad time to say, do you want to use new characters? <laughs> you set me up for that one so well. Why would you do such a thing? What would ev whatever would possess you? Oh man, I can. I feel like. I feel like I want to see this populated with people just milling about, doing their thing, being castle folk, local townspeople. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Every time I build something that feels like it could be a village in Skyrim, I'm like, oh, I just want to see it populated. I just wanna. What's the maximum number of players you can have in Icarus? Um, it was eight, but I don't know what it is since the um, update to allow dedicated servers. Oh, there go all my buffs. Guess it's time to head back. Core is still saying eight. Yeah. Not quite enough to make it feel fully populated. Oh, that's... Oh, it fell through the world anyway. Oh, well. What Splits isn't mentioning is he wants prisoners in the dungeon. Um... I mean, we don't actually have a prison in the dungeon yet, Kampak. That's true. But then I wasn't expecting us to have any prisoners, so it wasn't high on my priority list. No, but I thought oh, you wow. might have had fun trying to design something that looked that way in Icarus. Whoa. Don't get shocked. So I'm coming inside. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, got all this stuff. To the kitchen! Oh, that's so loud. Yep. Flower. Must prepare for this. These NPCs, townspeople. I, I honestly always love being able to do stuff like that. I know it's always silly and it usually ends up being super janky, but it's something I do genuinely um, enjoy in a lot of games. All right, I need to make a lot of floors to be able to pave this whole area. And the buffalo. Every, every dev should just leave their, like, test dummy stand-in idle animation character model as, <laughs> like, a console command that you can spawn in. Yeah, so you can just put people in, even yeah. if it doesn't actually do anything, it's just kind of for those who want. Every game is going to have that as, like, a, yeah. a tool that they use at some point. There's a tree on fire over at the uh, mining island. 
No, that's not the mining island. It's a different island. It's like we have a mining island? Yeah. You built a bridge to it. Oh! Right. Oh, speaking of, I should probably build those stairs back. Uh, as I go get more stone. Sure, this will work. I do like having more ways out of our base. Although, I am wondering with all these farm plots if Capac's ever going to manage to finish off his uh, redesign of the old base. Probably not. There we go. Fixed. Like nothing ever happened. Oh. What's... Oh. I tried to jump somewhere and went flying off in the wrong direction. <gasps> that is not where you go. Hey, have we got a buffalo cart still? Uh, I believe it's in the chest down in the barn down there. Okay. I think I might take a buffalo with a cart over to the... Ooh. Can they walk on the bridge? I wonder if it'll be worth the hassle. Uh, it still doesn't have a ramp to get onto it. Yeah, it does. So no. I just replaced it. Oh. Well, in that case, I don't know. Uh, where is the chest over here? Uh, it's in the... the door near the stairs to, to get up into the building. Ah. Oh, none of them have any food and water. Uh, grab some corn and feed them. Oh, you got the pack harness on this one. Oh, yep. That is better. Wait. Um. Can I not make Pythagoras? Follow me. I have no idea what you're going on about. I can't seem to tell the buffalo to do things. Uh... There's the one with the card on. Yeah. Yeah, it should be... Commands over on the right. Behaviors. On the right I have mount cargo and I have stats. Oh, there should be another box next to that that says has nope. commands in it. Maybe I don't have... Oh, right. It's tamed by me so you don't get the commands. Because if I do it on Husky, I can't, I can't tell it right. from me. You need a splitsy buffalo. Oh! Uh, well, we do have this... 
Ah, this one hasn't been tamed by anybody. You can tame that one. How do I tame it? Can I even tame it anymore? Have they changed the way the animals work? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, this one's, this one's tamed by extras. Oh, right. Uh, well, there's a buffalo up here. No, it's it's so... fine. I'll just, I'll take, um, I'll take Husky and just at least have an easy way to ride back. Uh, once I can refill my canteen. Which is not possible down here. I have to go back up to the the house <laughs> it's a minimalistic term for what we've built uh, what else was I doing I need more food meat Ah, oh, there There we go uh, And kitchen Fill it up Should be able to hook up a pump, hook the pump up to the water trough. Oh, yeah, Capac, you should probably look into that. What? Huh? Hooking the water pump up to the water troughs. I didn't think they had attachments. Oh, maybe there's one that does. Uh, tech tree. Come on, canteen. Hurry up and fill. I want to go mine some rock. Also. I can't even see the normal one. What are? Okay, yeah, Cora, I thought it might have gone up above eight for uh, dedicated. So you've got it up to 12 concurrent players. Uh, Silly String also says if you put the water troughs outside, they'd fill up with rain. Yeah, I, I know that. But you, you like having it inside, don't you? Yeah, it feels weird making the animals go outside. Drink. And they keep getting stuck on things when they try, try to navigate. Yeah, they do do that quite a bit. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a water attachment for the troughs. It, oh, okay. They, they really should do like a like an iron. They're doing a full overhaul of the farming, so I think um. It's like a tier two trough that you can hook up to water for the animals. Did I, would be really did I talk cool. about this when you were around? They're, so apparently they're doing a full redo of it all, so that you won't actually be pulling stuff out anymore. It'll be like more like how you deal with wild crops. So you oh, won't be like accessing actually... inventories to do farming. Ah, interesting. That way I'll get bonus yields from fancy Sides. sickles and things. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need... That's what I need to do. I need more animal fat to refill my lantern. So one of the things that I was, I'm kind of hoping that Keen will do when they 
eventually finish their work on V-Rage 3, which will be a couple of years, probably, um, is come up with some other things to do with that level of water simulation. Like, make a game where you are someone trying to manage an industrial speed steam pump. Could be a train simulator where you got to keep the train running. And stop it from exploding. Or make it explode. Yeah, or make it explode. <laughs> play with, you know, drainage ditches and all sorts of other stuff like that as part of a gameplay loop. I can't remember what context I was talking about this, but it might have been a YouTube comment. Um, the idea of industrial ear, like the Industrial Revolution era being perfect for an engineering game. Because I think, yeah. and I think, I think they're right. Because everything's still at a scale that doesn't require microscopes and things to fully understand. It's all of that can fit in your hand sort of scale. The power of the sun in the palm of your hand. Something like that. Yeah, Shadowhawk. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. Oh. Thank you also, very much. That. Thank you. <laughs> Many sub. Well, I mean, yes, that is sort of steampunk, but I was more thinking less brass, more iron. Yeah, do like, uh, like have it not be earth, but at that industrial revolution like technology level. Yeah. Like uh, Oh, especially if you could do like with um satisfactory how you can do the conveyor belts. Mm -hmm. But you have a you have a similar system to that but for like for laying like uh train tracks. Then it's like limited by like how steep it can go and like having to like cut through mountainsides yeah. to make tunnels and stuff like that. Mm. Or do switchbacks up the side of the mountain. Yeah. They have proper physics so you can derail the train and it can go sailing off into a canyon and explode. <laughs> like yeah, that's future three. Yeah. It was it, literally the image that popped into my head as you said it. <laughs> and this is why we're good at code names together. <laughs> Where are these plants going to go? Thanks so much, Hypemare. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Shadowhawk. Ow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of the right words for this, but appreciate all the people who are just chilling in chat, just lurking as much as everybody else. I should play Satisfactory with Kapak. Kapak, what would my response to that be? Let's play Codename. He says no. <laughs> Honestly, I would probably play 
nearly anything in the right context if you were actively asking me to play it. Because there's little that I've... I don't know. I just enjoy when we're playing Ooh. games together, so... I'd, Ooh. I'd still give it a go. There's a whole sulfur down there. But... I just... I'm not going to be the one to instigate playing any of No Man's Sky, Satisfactory... Um, SnowRunner, etc. Well, uh, I was... I was tempted to play some more. You said you were. Satisfactory, but then, but then I've been watching the Yogscast play it, and I saw that a bunch of those collectibles are still just listed as work in progress. Right. Like, eh, I want to go out and get things, but I want them to have, like, a purpose for getting them. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait a little longer. Thanks, Hype Man. Um... It's not like there aren't another other games covered coming out in August to worry about. That is true. Hi man, where am I getting why I know I know you're saying serial lurker, but uh I'll say Wait, no, I'm That just means he up. really likes rice bumps. No, Hype Man, the name is familiar for somewhere. I'm trying to think where. Developer on something? shares that name or you are that person thanks silly string no 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 you stupid bird oh it's almost like you called bird brained for a reason what the uh have you been shooting a bunch of birds over the river no and why are there all these dead Kia in the in the river? <laughs> uh, I'm starting to wonder if this water is safe to drink. <laughs> yeah, you're using it for all the cooking. What's that? They're drowning. Oh, they land in the water and they drown. That's a thing? Must be. Test unit seems to think that's what's happening. I have seen them try and fly underwater. You watch them bob up and down for a while and die. Hey, Hirsch, thanks for the tier three sub. Ah, oh, that's a lot of threes. Three to 30. Tier three, 30 months, 30 months streak. 30 months. It's a long time. Yeah, we've been doing this for a while now, Kamek. It boggles my mind whenever I think about it. There might be food in the water that they're going for. And yes, I thought I recognized Hype Man's one of the devs. Um, of what? This. What? Madness. Um, so there might, there, there may be food. So basically we've found a way to get infinite birds to just wait at the river. <laughs> yeah. I saw something cool in the um, patch notes for the unreleased content. Oh, um, there are predatory birds in the new place. Ooh. Oh yeah, I saw a picture of some kind of pterodactyl thing. Ah, that might have been what it was. I was like, predatory birds? I haven't seen a predatory bird. And then I read up to the heading above it, I was like, oh. And they shriek before diving on anything, even if it's not you so constantly terrifying. Perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh, yep, some of that.
farm pot for days. Well, there are there are predatory birds and then there are birds of prey, I guess. But then there are also non-predatory birds. There are plenty that just eat fruit and seeds. Like chickens. I mean, I know you can make chickens into cannibals, but they're not naturally cannibals, I didn't think. Sounded like a burned armadillo. Yep, Capac's been watching too much green health. I haven't been watching any green health. You watched a little bit of it. Yeah. The banded armadillo makes this 30 seconds. noise. <laughs> Thank you, Hirsch. Also for 30 months. <laughs> almost in here. It's almost like they started at the same time. Embarrassing. Ah, I've got so many things to manage. Well, you could be doing what I'm doing. What are you doing? Mining stone so I can make our courtyard. Ah. Hundred and fifty-eight flower. I'm so glad we decided not to build in concrete. Back. Oh, here we go. 90 pastries. Were there any, um... Were there any more world bosses we hadn't fought here yet? Um... Uh, I see sandworms, scorpions... Oh yeah, there's like the jaguar boss. We haven't fought it yet. Okay. Should we... Make ourselves a mission to go do that. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a hike, but we have been to where it is before. Uh, it's over in G11. Let's put a tag down on it. Well, with the high winds, it's time for me to get out of here. avocados uh, I am also looking forward to with the update um, regular missions coming to the mission boards come back uh, that was also in the thing oh yeah yeah um, yeah that's in the next was that something that the two update? of us have wanted for a while yeah just in time for us to finish with the castle Well, it doesn't mean we can't come back here and run the Styx missions. Yes, that's true. Because the missions are area specific. In a meeting now, so admiring the base on mute. Uh, we're pretty proud of this base, I, I will admit. It's taken us a lot of work, but I reckon it's pretty cool. Capac doesn't like my heads everywhere, though. Will you fly in high winds? No. That does happen in Station Ears, though. Not fully flying, but sort of.
Uh, Reaper, what's to say I haven't already been found in the Collector? I didn't get a chance to record last week, so who knows what's gonna what I'm gonna walk into when I find it when I get time this week. If I could dig into the terrain, yes, I would probably make a cave base in this. Uh, in the caves as they are, I just don't want to have to deal with the cave lung all the time. Oh yeah, I may as well eat that. About to rot anyway. Then I need to get lights on all the walls. I want the walls to be able to be seen at night. I want to get proper electrical lights on these. Yeah, I know the dehumidifier exists, but that's quite high tier, so like, it's going to be a while before you can run it constantly. One thing I do suspect Kamak and I would do if doing this again, or when we do this sort of thing again, We'll almost certainly build on a river. Or very near to a river. Isn't that right, Kavak? Yeah, make the power generation a bit more accessible. Yeah. Unless unless batteries come with the next update. In which case, solar would be more valid and therefore we wouldn't need to worry so much. We'll have an alternative option. In the distance, I can hear Charlie getting himself in trouble. She must have been trying to lick Toby's face again. Does so like to try and lick his face. Uh, Enshrouded does look like it could be interesting. I'm keen to try it out when it comes out. Hmm. Is Toby mobile yet? Um. He's more flailing limbs than he is mobile. He's almost got enough torso control that you could... He's almost at the point where we can get a photo of him sitting on top of Charlie's shoulders. But not quite. Because I really want to get that photo. <laughs> Without my hands having to be in the shot. Eh, just Photoshop them out. That is a lot of work. Sort of rolling on his own, sort of not. It's kind of halfway. Depends how hard he flicks his legs. Oh, the good old human larval stage. Indeed. I mean, he's very cute when he laughs, so that gets him, lets him get away with a lot of things. What do you think about me turning this into a stone courtyard? Yeah, sounds good. I figure it made more sense once I'd started doing the other bit, because otherwise it all felt kind of weird having these transitions. Yeah. I wonder if we could make some sort of... Um, do you want to try... Are you interested in trying to make some sort of decorative feature in the middle of this open area? With the statues and stuff? Uh, like I was thinking maybe okay. if we can think up a way to build something that we could... Actually, that's what i got to check. If I use foundation pieces, can I stick statues on top of them? I 
wife misses the gummy grins, it's not the same once teeth come in. Oh, I can see that. Uh, I need more wood. Oh, I'm gonna take... Can we sleep? I guess so. Yeah, then we could put the water and power under the paving, that's true. Get rid of that pole in the courtyard. I think that'd be nice. Oh man, waking up. <laughs> With the bear head right in my point of view. Perfect. Let's go get my mower. And go out and get some timber. Um, yeah, a little adrenaline jolt to start the day, yeah. Oh, eat, eat, eat. some good food on the way. Oh. Um. Go back. If you get inspired, did you want to try and fix this power line and water course that runs across our courtyard? And maybe make it just run along the ground? Oh. Yeah, fair enough. Sounds like a lot of work. Uh, it shouldn't be. As long as it doesn't bug out. And I am purely decorative. You're decorative? <laughs> yep. I see. Um, yeah, this is still the quickest. I don't have any pumpkins in the fridge for some reason. I haven't seen any wall shelves yet, but I haven't looked through the new furniture in detail as up to this point because I wanted to make a new table for our living area. Um, I just haven't done it yet. Because I was going to replace the table we had because now there's a large one. Now, what do you think the chances are of me killing my mower with a tree? Hi. See you, Spectre. Okay. I think Go. what games I'm... Like, other than the ones that are somewhat obvious, because I've been talking about them a bit, what games I'm excited for that are coming out this year. This all just keeps coming back to City Skylines because I keep reading all their dev note, their dev posts, which are ridiculously detailed, but very well written. So apparently, in City Skyline Two, you have to think about the internet. Oh. See ya, Jack. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, yes. Baldur's Gate 3 is a funny one. I'm really excited to play it. I'm not as... It's one of those games where I'd be quite happy to just play it and not stream it. Whereas, like, City Skylines, I'm like, yeah, I think this could be really fun if I... In that content... Context... Um, much like uh, Xenonauts is heaps more fun as a streamed game. Well, the thing about that is, I think... I think Baldur's Gate 2, uh, 3 is going to be... 
because of the way they've done the, the character system. I haven't looked into it. So like you can make your own character or you can choose one of the like the pre-made characters. Yeah. Pre-made characters have like their own storylines and special interactions and things. Yeah. So like because when we play we're going to be making our own characters. Yeah. It's going to be a fairly different experience doing that than playing with the, the baked in characters to experience their storylines. Okay. So I think there's a... I think it'll be a sufficient difference between the two experiences. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we got some savory rolls. What's how much... Shepherd's rolls. Do I have enough? I don't think I got any carrots. Oh man. Need so much timber lately. Uh, got lots of soy. Vegetable pie, squash, and soy. Yeah, I lose a little bit of wood through the world. It's not that much. Oh, and corn. From a comment in chat a week ago, it was like, yeah, stuff falling through the world. That's an unreal thing. I can't think of other unreal games where it's where I've seen it though. Well, falling through the world is an every game thing. Yeah, less prevalent in games that have deformable deformable voxels though. Mm. It, seem, it seems the games where I've seen it the most are the ones that have static um, height maps for their terrain. But that may just be because if you're going to have voxels, voxelized terrain, you kind of need to spend more dev time on making sure that stuff doesn't happen. Because the character will be one of those things that falls through. Didn't stop it from happening to me in... Base engineer, seven days to die. <laughs> um, well, uh, to be... or terrain games where we played. When have you fallen? You haven't fallen through the world much in space engineers. You've fallen through the world plenty in the uh, earlier alphas of seven days to die because you'd get outside the bit that my PC had been able to generate yet. <laughs> and then you'd fall through the world. Oh, occasionally there'd just be like a, a single chunk that wouldn't load in seven yeah. days to die. That was always fun. Find a big rectangular hole into the abyss. Yep. I'll have to look into the wall shelves. Might be able to do something fun with them uh, when I get back with all this timber. Alright, I might put all this stuff. Ah, uh, no, Yamino. Unreal 3 went from the carve out of full space to add to an empty space um unreal 2 i think it was unreal 3 might be 4 i think it was 3 though um because i yeah i remember the same thing where you had to carve out a filled universe um that's how i made my maps for unreal tournament that i made in capac 2 yeah uh how about some fruit pie watermelon and berries the nice thing about the carved out solid universe thing was at least for games of that era was that it was much harder to make spots that you could fall through because the whole universe was solid so you didn't have that problem that lots of games have where you fall off the edge of the map and then you're just falling infinitely Yeah, I think there was some reason why most engines don't do that, but I can't remember what it was. Well, since Unreal was the only one that did it and it stopped, then it probably was a good reason. Falling off the edge of the world is more realistic. 
Oh, Lohan. <laughs> you monster. Still got my Unreal Tournament map room somewhere. Like... <laughs> Pretty sure I've got your Unreal Tournament map around somewhere. Like half complete, weirdly themed Metroid map. I mean, your map was pretty cool. Your map is actually publishable. Mine, not so much. But I did complete mine, including AI pathing. Yeah, I, I remember struggling a lot with trying to get like elevators to work and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, I did the vegetable pie. Well, the whole of mirrors stuff, you mean? Oh, I thought it was easier to get going on. Wait, Unreal Two? No, Unreal Two didn't have mirrors. Unreal. Uh, one of the one of them did have proper mirrors. I can't remember. It's been a long time ago. Oh, I haven't even grown yet. But yeah. Oh, I've got enough pumpkins. So I've always pumpkins. been a map maker at heart. I've like any game that gave me the opportunity to expand upon my experience in that way. I jumped at. Right, we'll see what I can do with this. I have an idea of how I might make a really cool statue, but I need to check and make sure that I can, in fact, um, mount these statues the way that I hope I can. And i just got to decide which statues I want to put out there. There we go. Oh yeah, when you manage to see out of the negative space, yeah, that did give a hall of mirrors, didn't it? Um Maybe we go. Where are the buffalo? Yeah, I've completed Portal 2, and Portal actually, years ago, but uh, I think Capac and I might have completed Portal 2 together at some point as well, uh, but Capac's we, not the only- We did do the co-op. We did it I on don't... stream once, but I thought we played it together when we were first housemates and finished it. Yeah, I think we might have. I, can't rem I think it was you, but I think I might have also played it through with Blakey at one stage, or a lot of it through with him. But I've definitely, I'm pretty, I'm more confident that I finished it with your, the playthrough we did together, because being housemates, we could play it several days in a row. Yeah. Rather than it being a periodic thing. It's one of the reasons why we've never played, why well, we played it once on stream and then didn't do it again, because we we're like, eh, can remember too much of this. It is always fun, though. Yeah. Kind of one of those indisput almost indisputably good games. Yep. Oh. Don't don't think there's many people that would argue that portal games are some of the best games ever made. I didn't make any maps for it. I never tried to do that with it, though. Yeah, that's... Mm, it's a bit different. Making a 
Making a portal map is making a puzzle. Yeah. I I think I'd much rather do like a um Yeah, like an Unreal Tournament map where it's just like it's more about the theming and the um Uh, what do you call it? The design. The aesthetics than it is the... Yeah, the, um... Oh, I know there's a word for it. About, about the, the space itself and its characteristics. Ergonomics feels close but not quite right. Spacing on this about right? No, <laughs> that is very wrong. Yep, gliding with it. After a day in the kitchen making food, finally come outside and then all my food buffs wear off and I have to go back to the kitchen. The cromulent nature of the space. buffalo yep i have a plan though well, just your whole process over here. oh it, do you know why i'm doing it that way yeah yeah i see what you're trying to do i'm seeing if i can build a multi-layered statue centerpiece thing it's hard now for some piping in a fountain yeah that's kind of where my head where this kind of idea started from. I was like, oh, I can build a something that look, looks a bit like a fountain centerpiece. If I can place down these pillars first, place the statues on it, then I hopefully will be able to fill in some of the gaps by um, grabbing stone frames and raising that up to where I need it to be. Like, if I go... I get myself pretty much on the 45... Although that probably needs to be a little bit lower because I'll likely want to put a thing on it. Yep, that's getting a bit closer, Verve Rat. Environmental storytelling and the Ludo narrative experience. Sure. Where's the words? Yeah, because the gameplay of Portal is so focused, the uh, the environmental storytelling is kind of limited to the interstitial spaces. build this up on more simply uh photos around here somewhere do i need to make this as complex as i'm making it hmm possibly possibly not i don't know Oh, that's right. I'm just going to put some of these over here. What I'm thinking now is whether I can fit four of these on just this 
single pillar. And then fit a fit a pillar in the center. Although I won't be able to get it dead center, will I? No. Ooh. Aww. Okay. I'm just gonna ditch this. Just do it with pillars like I was planning. This actually breaks my whole idea. It's just occurred to me that I've spent more time gardening in Icarus than I have in my actual garden. That doesn't surprise me. Never picked you as a gardener. Too much mud. Too much physical labor. Yeah, that too. How am I going to see that I've got this at the right height? Oh. I'll tell you what. If the developers have gotten one thing right with this game it's the automatic visceral reaction i have to the straining timbery sound of an unsupported bit of masonry the sound design in icarus is on point is i've said many times that i think it's very very well done oh corn has grown come here corn Oops. Okay, more buffalo statues. <laughs> <coughs> you really, you said that just as Hypemare unmuted he, us. Uh. <laughs> I believe Capac said if there's one thing, uh, not there's just one thing. <laughs> <laughs> It is, that's correct, right? That is correct. <laughs> yeah, the sound design's really good. <laughs> Which was... All the more stark in contrast to a game I was playing recently uh, with some very interesting sounding footsteps. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I played um, Night of the Dead again. Okay. Remember that zombie horde? Uh, was that the one that was all about making the weird traps and things? Yep. 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 Yeah, so that has very anemic sounding footsteps. I have no other term to use for it. But the, the thing like that that always bugs me is when they have like um, the same footstep noise no matter what kind of surface you're walking on. Well, what, what bugs me is more that is the number of times when it sounds like you've got metallic surfaces on the bottom of your shoes. Or in the case of Night of the Dead, it sounds like you're wearing very small, dainty heels. Ah. Well, how do you know you're not? Because you can see what your character's wearing. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it's like this... Which probably doesn't come through on the mic at all. Okay, need some... Uh, I don't think it even sounds like spurs. It just it just sounds like small lady in large he in tiny heels walking on. I want to say like linoleum, maybe tile, maybe. Hmm. Okay, 
Oh, okay, this is door. big. What the? What is that thing? <laughs> that is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Ah, our shrine to the gold. <laughs> yeah, I think I might may need to move the buffalo out a bit. Oh, it's supported on the backs of the buffalo. <laughs> well, I was more thinking like I could put buffalo and then I could put some little rabbits and it makes it look like everything's running away from the... It's, it's like a creepier version of the disc world. further away is that far enough from i don't think that's far enough that doesn't go too far enough That's better. Ah, uh, the things I will do in games like this. That is how I got so many hours in Valheim. I'm so glad that chat told me about the different ways I could break the uh, building system to take advantage of it. like a daedric shine uh, shine shine yeah shine mm. daedric shrine yeah i'm down with that comparison Ooh, we can make braziers right um yeah hmm I wonder whether I do a braziers or do braziers or whether I use copper lights, the copper geodes. Oh, we gotta keep them fueled though. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking the copper geodes might be the way to go. Shine on you, crazy Daedric. Yep. Yeah, I have some squash, but I. Don't... I feel like this needs to be facing a different direction. Nope. Uh, which way does this face when I place it down? Yes, we should have some ZPNs to light the way around the Gua'uld statue. Mm -hmm. Can't disagree with that. Oh, I've been hearing some Although rumblings about the new... It should be more new... Wraith than Gua'uld. No, no, Wraith are bugs. I know, but... The ZPMs were more significant in Atlantis than they were in SG-1. Oh, yeah. They all somehow couldn't figure out what they were or what to do with them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll sort out the power cable and water cable and water pipe soon. Because, <laughs> yes, they're, they're horrible. Um... Ah. <laughs> Why have you done this? <laughs> How did you manage to walk past at the perfect time? <laughs> I was just... 
I was coming over here to check what was going on and you trap doored me. <laughs> the timing then! How? How did that even happen? I was literally just going, ah, oh, I'm going to rip up this floor so that I can pipe things over and you just walk perfectly into it. But not just walked, you sprinted into it. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That was pretty fast. Zoom, zoom. <sighs> Your timing, Capac, sometimes. Okay. Let's go get the tools to move this stuff because it's so ugly and I'll get some food while I'm at it. Nope, that's the wrong way. Yeah. Were you a good boy and put the tool tools away, or are you carrying some of them? Of course the bear's right where I plan to go. Uh, I don't have any tools. I'm about to run out of food stuff, so... Back home I come. Um, What was I doing? Who am I? Tools. Hooray, now I can leave the tools out on my person and not put them back. Because I will fix- oh, I need to fix my lantern. Really? Did you just- did you hit the armor on the deer? <laughs> of course you did. Well, Kappa, trap successful. Um. done this <laughs> the timing was just why have you done this the timing was just too good <laughs> oh man i need to get a i need to get a capture of capac saying ah, why have you done this <laughs> if i ever added sound alerts they would be full of things like that Yep, I'm sure you'd have that. You'd have me saying how rude. Yeah, I'd also find some of my own stupid things I've done. You'd have me saying ow. Oh, I mean, you yeah. know, it's on brand, it's on brand. Probably have that clip that Wasted has. Wap, 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 that one. Yep. Yes, definitely, since I was the one who gave it to him. snap to where I want you to snap to. Aha! Uh -huh. I have found a sulfurous sulfur. Is it the sulfurist of sulfurs? Yep. Oh, that's gonna make Capac angry. I can tell because it makes me want scrambled eggs. My... Uh, my laugh is what makes that. Mm. <laughs> my maniacal laugh is <laughs> gets caught. Because I just did not expect it at all. I didn't even see you coming. Like, you come around from behind me. the station is only one hour video is only one hour long one hour is a long time for an edited video yeah that's true almighty bro ham thanks for the raid welcome raider oh moto dragon get out of here Junction for the pipe. Is there a junction hidden under here somewhere? Oh dear. 
Oh no. Where does the pipe have its last junction? Pipes have junctions, right? Yeah. Why do we not have any junctions on this pipe? Ah, Jaguar! Run uh -oh. away! You never catch me! Faster than a speeding bullet. Oh no. What have you done? There's no junctions on the pipe you laid. What are you talking about? The water pipe? There are no junctions, so I can't split it. I've got to go all the way back down to the original base. But there's a junction on every pole. No, you would have placed one, but the game bugs out with them sometimes. Uh, I've never... Like, I've seen them not yes, show yeah. up in the highlight. Yeah, but they're not actually there. Either. Really? Yep. yep. Hmm. Let me take a look at it. It's alright, I'm undoing things and redoing it. I'll be there. I'll do it soon. I'm getting there. I wonder if this is the thing that Dexterous is going to work on after he's fixed the farms. Yeah, I definitely like the look of this new bone shield on my back. It's pretty cool. Uh, did you want to make a steel one? Nope. Oh, you like, you want the bone one for the aesthetic? Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, Capac and I have run a lot of long bits of cabling and piping, so we've run into this issue a bit. I don't know if that's connecting. Um, let's do this. Way. Oh, that's so sleeping, Charlie, as you snore and sleep. Yep. You are inside the building. More farms, more farms. Sick of making farms yet? Nope. Do you need more space for gardens? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for you to finish my statue. Finish what you're doing down there, so I know where to put some some of these. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing right now is an important part of finishing off what I'm where I'm at. So, hopefully, not too much longer. What do you mean? Uh, just just looking at things, trying to figure out what's going on. Birds cry in the distance. I'll probably go all the way across here. It let me. Oh, ah. I 
Hello? Uh, oh, that's not good. Do you have any of the stone floors? Uh, probably. I have some. Um, if you can fix this pipe for me. Where are you? Uh, near the barn. Oh, I didn't want it. Oh, that looks much better. <laughs> So, can you join that, those bits? I'll leave you with it. <laughs> Bye! Sucker. Okay. That's those cleaned up. Now I can get back to my statue, which is arguably far more important. Nope, that's not the right height. That needs to go taller. There you go. It's fine. Is it working? Have you tested it? Should be. Uh. Cool. Is the kitchen getting water? This is a very expensive statue when it comes to the stone that I put into it. Yep. Kitchen's getting water. Cool. Everything is Thank fine because it. I made it so. Now where are my floors? Where do you want them? On my person. Go away, bricks. I need to see what I'm doing. Still not the right height. Give me, give me floors. Oop. Let's see if to get the height right. Oh, loot. Good enough. Just wanted this statue to look a bit more supported. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I so particular about these things? Why can't I just be laissez-faire like Capac sometimes? Alright. That'll do. Now... What I need to put down here next no. are, I think, four more pillars. Kind of in between the buffalo ones that I will put some lights on. What are you knowing? Yeah, I planted the wrong plant. Uh, what put behind here? I think I put on another row of plants. I feel like something else. And this is when we see that my angles are all slightly wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, round column probably would be nice. I hadn't 
noticed until very recently that we even had the column. Yeah. I know the light pillars are different heights. It's really mostly this one. This is quite the edifice you're constructing. Well, I wanted something nice to fill out this courtyard. Too high. Ugh. Oh, that's about right. Those three seem to be the same height, and then this one I can just fix up, and then we're good. Okay. And that is the end of my statue. Well, in theory, I could do. This. Put some grow plots in them. Um, I think it might be nice just to leave this as stone because I'm going to make the color out of the lighting. Ooh, that's too high. Close enough. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, now, to make copper geodes. It's got to be lit up. And then I'll work on the lighting around the outside, and then I'll be happy. Oh, we've got to go and kill a thing. What? We were going to go kill a thing, a boss. Uh, we... You sort of vaguely discussed something like that? Yeah. Uh, geodes. What do I need? Raw oh, copper. I think I want the copper geode lamp. Make them all different heights, it'll look like you planned that. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been that way. I think it'll... I think... Everyone knows the challenges faced in building this way here. I, I think it'll be fine. Let's get those four out, and then we'll see what else, whether I want to have more of them or not. It's possible I will want more than just these four. need to go further back on their pillars. Yeah, that's more like it. Why have I got all this refined wood? Why did you pick up refined wood? Are you going to make some furniture? Then I don't know why you've got it. All 
All right, Kamek, do you want to come back outside and have a look at what I've done? Okay. It's best seen at night, I think. Yeah, it's dark out here. Yeah, it is. I think we need. I think I need to add a bit more light. Uh, like yeah, on the buffalo. Need... Yep. Ah. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go get a few more of them. Back in the doom hole. I uh, don't think we are able to angle the the lights upwards. No. Because that would be perfect, obviously. Uh, I'd intentionally done the spotlighty ones because I thought they'd look best, but yeah, you know, I might have to try the omnidirectional ones and see if... Oh, maybe the omnidirectionals down at the base on the ground here could work. Yeah, I think the the worm with the shadows that are cast on it, especially looking at it from this direction, I think looks really cool. Silhouetted against the sky. Well. I think it'll be enough to terrify anyone that comes into the courtyard. Some directional work lights. What about this, Kamak? Right here. Oh, yeah. This one needs to come out a little bit further. Ah, I keep falling in the hole you left here. Yeah, I need to go make some more floors. Oh, that's crooked. To fix that. Yeah. All right. Make some floors. Then I can walk around this place. Oh, that's right. I was looking at doing some fishing stuff last time. But I needed. Oh, that stuff. Yeah, I'll see. I'll make a couple of the ZPM things and then I'll make some floors as well. See if that's going to work right. Uh, was it on the textiles bench? Yeah, there it is. Uh, ZPM's floors. Have more nails made. Need some offerings scattered around for the full effect. Well, I suppose I could sneak a couple of little rabbits in between as well. Platinum sheath. How do I make that? Oh. I wasn't really listening. What are you trying to make? Uh, some of the fishing stuff. Ah. Uh -huh.
Some ba oh, there you're is. talking about offerings as in leave corpses around. Oh. I don't think I want to do that. really eight in here. Oh, I need some support. on the base of this at all. No. Add enough Fishing to make a difference. Tackle box. Jellyfish lures. Mm -hmm. I don't think of where to put a light to make this work. It's not wrong that all you hear now is Tiffany, not TFE. Blame the YouTube auto captioning thing. What? Well, breakfast at TFE's. Yep. And I said, what about it? And I need food again. A ring of these around the statue pointing at it. It's just kind of lighting up the base, not really the top now. It's not really doing what I want it to do at all. Yeah, the lights need to point higher, that's the problem. That was, that was loud, Buffalo. Real loud. does make me wonder if I should move these light pillars back a bit. I'll try moving this one back a bit. So I think if I move this out to say here instead. The light from the 
spotlighty one should hit the thing a bit more. Yeah, that. there we go. Now we're actually getting some light onto the claw things on its head. I make a ring of half walls around it. Um, yeah, maybe. Ooh, or is it too small for me to really be able to do that? Because basically, I'd have to make either a, I'd have to make an octagon out of the floor pieces, and I'd have to center it perfectly, which would be very difficult. I was like a try. I'm spending way too much time on this. Right. Have to be about there. But a little go and see. I'm not I'm not sold, but I'll try it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, a fountain was what I kind of wanted it to look like. Ooh, a void trout. Didn't you already catch one of them? From out of space. Uh, it's not as high quality as the other ones, though. Sounds like something from Dredge. Why am I having trouble placing that? Hmm. Back, I'm surprised you haven't gone to the... to, like, to try and do some of the stuff that I'm doing here. Huh? This sort of decorative nonsense is usually run up your alley. Yeah, that's why I've been planting flowers all day. Yeah, but I meant, like, messing around with statues and stuff like that as well. Eh, you seem to have a handle on it. And I've got fish to catch. I see. Oh, that's not right. These angles are all going to be wonky as. I think this might be a reason not to do it this way. <laughs> it's that I did not get the angles right. 56% quality. That's unacceptable. Because this is how this will look with the walls. It's just before we get too far ahead. Excuse me. Yeah, the walls aren't going to work. <clears throat> Ooh, 96 I'm not going to be able to get them in dino. the right spot without redoing the whole thing from scratch. And, uh, that's unacceptable. not redoing this whole thing. <laughs> there comes a point where even I will cut my losses. 96% quality. I'll take it. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know what the quality means exactly. Uh, the fish have a quality and they got a length and a weight. I guess the quality is the sheen of their scales. Maybe. Or the fatness of the fish. Another space trap. No, uh, just one. One looks better. Would a free horizontal stone pillar laying on the floor just collapse? Yes. Needs to have something under it for the stone pillars not to collapse. needs that one at the front. And the oh. rest can stay where they are, because it's really the one at the front that's needed to be there to try and light the thing up. Enough without my tech box. It's not Rookie a good fishing do. error. Yes, buffalo. I'm happy with this. Looks suitably menacing and it fills the space nicely, I think. I've intentionally set the front one differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Gets a little bit more light on the head of the worm. I love that we've got a wild buffalo just wandering around. That's one of the statues. <laughs> oh, nice. You got the gardens half gorse, half... What are the blue ones? Reeds? Yep. That looks really nice. Oh, and you, you even doubled the gardens down here. Okay, that's cool. That is such a nice splash of color. And your little garden up here adds to it as, as well. All right, fishies. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, hold on, that's not what I want. I don't want chunks, I want fillets. I want to see if I can get a shot where it looks like I'm worshipping the go-old. Although, honestly, it just looks like I'm about to kill it. <laughs> Soybeans and fat. Soybeans? Another pillar with a mortar and pestle and some goodies in it. That sounds like a capac touch that would get added. Wow, 
Bosch and Corn. Kabak, have you just stood back and appreciated the ridiculousness of what we've constructed here? Yeah, all the time. It's really cool. Like, we've played so many of these games and... This is the first time I feel like we've made it this far in terms of a build that we've put together. Uh, it's definitely one of our more cohesive, ridiculous constructions. Yeah. Freshwater fillet curry. Pile all those unused candles around it. <laughs> ah, I'm running out of fridge space for all this food. I think all of this is safe from weather deterioration. I don't know that a mortar and pestle is, though. They may not be safe. Only one way to find out. Look at why, them. Why are we putting mortar and pestles on the statues? Uh, suggested as an offering, much like putting candles at the base of it. Uh. leather. It's not quite as good, mm. but it's close. And then Splitsy can have an Ember Trout. Ooh, very striking. Oh, that's actually a decent fish. Yeah. You can't even see it. Yeah, I can. I can see your stream. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> Much like when I stream with Shadow, I look at... I have your stream up. Oh, there go all my buffs. How's the farm going? It means I can quickly clip and have a look if something's really funny. Get the other perspective. Oh, I didn't realize that there's actually a bonus for farming in a glass house. A greenhouse. Oh. Crop cool. plot is in range of glass building pieces which give ideal conditions for growth. Growth rate increased by 50%. No wonder it's gone so fast. Yeah. Nice. I will show everybody shortly. I'm just getting a... Actually, I can go up there now. Can I put a red fish as... One might expect from an ember trout. Outside my door. This. 88% quality, 100% length, and 100% weight. And then we've got an emerald dino. Two of them. And then the sunset trout. Has he got more fish in his room yet? No. I was expecting you to make your wall up into just like a big fish wall. <laughs> I'm keeping the good fish, but I'm turning the other ones into dinner. Yeah, let's see how far this, this gets me. This should get most of the courtyard paved. Oh, I tried planting some platinum in one of the crop pots. Did it grow? No. No, unfortunately. I hear crumblings. And crumblings. What did you do? It was me. I'm just farming. I didn't break nothing. I didn't accuse you of breaking anything. Mm, it sounded like you might have been thinking about accusing me of something. Nah.
I don't need to accuse you, I just blame you. Close the cop box need to be to some glass. Um, did you have any glass pieces left over from the building? Nope. I made exactly how much we needed. Hmm. Can you make me just a couple of bits? Um. Maybe. Are you planning on gaming the system a bit? No, I thought I'd just put a couple of roofs over the mushrooms to make that grow pretty quick. One sec. Just gonna place down these last floor bits to finish off this area. Where the squash put the carrots in? No, I'll come up and make it. If we have the parts, if we have the stuff for it. Which we yeah. should do. I think I've got enough other stuff. Should have plenty of room for avocados. Oh, oh, that just went. There we go, that'll do. Paving paradise. <laughs> it's no longer a survival game, it's just a civilization sim. Yeah, kinda. Um, so the parts that are clipping are because there are multiple different buildings here. As you can see, I've made a lot of angles that are not 90 degrees. Which was part of the fun of this build, was building something that didn't follow the 90 degree lines, but instead was just made up of multiple things clipping through it close enough to the right spots that they get away with it. Oh, I was going to do something now, I can't remember what it was. Oh, it looks terrible inside sometimes. But you just got to plan around that. So instead of, say, inside putting, um, like, you make sure that the inside bit is higher so that it can cover it up with its floor and just use little, little stairs like this for access. You just got to work within the limitations of it. And, um, kind of mm. fake it till you make it. Could be a go old. Did you say you could be a go old? Yeah. Well, I mean, any of us could be, really. It's a bit like the body is a bit long for a go old. I'm trying and to. It doesn't have of, the wings. I'm trying to think of who I might be. Which god? Satesh. No. <laughs> Uh... Oh, Capac, I think... Oh, maybe um... an Aztec god like Tezcatlipoca. Sure. Why not? A smoking mirror. I think I might call it here for the day. Okay. Um... Should we come back next week and fight the boss and do some final touches on this place? Yeah, we'll go, yeah, go on a quest next time. Fill in all the windows, do all that stuff. Because I am really happy with this. And I totally am looking forward to using this as a base of operations to run the Styx missions in the future. Which is kind of nice to know that we can do that. We can make some use of it and it doesn't just end here with us being like, Yeah, it's complete. Alright, see ya. Never seeing it again. Makes me happy. Yeah, we'll come back and do some missions when... They're added to the game in the next big patch. Yeah. Um, oh, Kepak, yeah, this is perfect. Where did, where did you go? Come over here. Where are you? Um, down in the courtyard. Yeah, so where I put these plants here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you can access them from that window. Which is really cool. Like a lovely little window box. Yeah. Uh, what are you streaming tomorrow, Capac? Ah, what have you done? What? Yeah, come inside here and look up. 
Oh yeah, I knew that was a thing. Unavoidable. Wait, what do you mean unavoidable? You wanted a bridge. <sighs> we can. Mm. <laughs> It's literally unavoidable for the bridge. I'm gonna have to redesign. Oh, no, there's rocks here. This staircase has to. Oh, I'll have to move the staircase to this side, mate. I don't know. I'm gonna have to fix this mess you've made. <laughs> you asked for a bridge. I I didn't ask for a mess. I asked for a bridge. That's the only way to make the bridge work. Well, I will fix it next time. <laughs> cool. Uh, what are you streaming tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow should be the finale of System Shock. I'm right at the end. I'm yep. about to do the final shenanigans. Cool. Uh, uh, and Capac and I will be back in more assertive acquisitions on Wednesday, except Capac won't be there because he didn't. He was doing a thing. Oh, wait, was that this week? I've lost track of which know. week was which week. I have I no idea. I don't know, one of them. He's either back this week or he's away, but he's back for two weeks in a row. Yeah, this, this worm looks like it's on like a Warhammer like mini base. It does, doesn't it? It's making me want like a little miniature of it. <laughs> um, and then... More stuff on Friday with Xenonauts and me getting chat killed and Capac doing something on Thursday. Uh, might... fishing. Oh. Yeah, i do some fishing. So there's all that and... Plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. Oh, yeah. Gabak was asleep this week. So he's back next week. This week. You know what I mean. And we'll do a raid. Yeah, let's do that.